Hi everyone! So for today's activity we're going to be using plastic wrap and paint. And I'm going to paint on top of three little canvases, but you can do this activity on paper too. So let's get started. I want to work with yellow and purple today because I really like that color combination. So first we're going to do our base coat, uh, and I'm choosing yellow, and let it dry. So after I paint it all, I'm going to set it aside and let it dry for a little bit. Now, um, I let it dry for a few minutes and came back to it. So now that it is dry, I'm putting a little bit of purple on top. I want to have kind of more of a reddish purple, so I'm mixing some red into it also. And the trick is to get your plastic wrap ready so that you can put it on top while the paint is still wet for the second coat. So while this coat is still wet, I'm crinkling the plastic wrap on top. And you want to be sure that you're not applying it on smooth. You want it to be wrinkly because that's going to give it a lot of interesting effects. So after I have put it on, and created a couple extra wrinkles in it that I wanted to. I'm gonna let it sit for a while and dry with the paint. The key here is to let it sit for enough time that it's gonna, uh, the paint will adhere to the plastic wrap, but not too long to where the paint is fully dry. So I'm gonna kind of lift some of the edges and see if they're ready and it looks like they are. So I want to be sure that I pull it off delicately and allow the effect that just happened to stay without me smudging it. So I'm slowly lifting and ta-da! I noticed on one of my canvases that I want to create a little bit more negative space so I'm going to crinkle my my plastic wrap a little bit and then just dab on the corners there and that's just something I wanted to do to get the desired effect I was going for but that's a fun activity for this week and I hope you guys enjoy it and have a have a good old time